Greetings, children. I am beside myself. If you recall, last time I deconstructed the popular Miss Ping video. Well, the creators responded in full force. They tried to prove me wrong by remaking the video using a more voluptuous girl and all the same techniques with slight alterations. And to show how confident they are, they published the new video at half the resolution of the original. This is now a matter of honor. I vow that I will not rest until I've debunked every single... <gasps> almost forgot. It's not too late. We don't want to miss this. A comet. Not just any comet. A viral comet. You see, most viral videos burst into social consciousness and then disappear just as quickly into the annals of pop culture history, leaving us to wonder what we ever liked about the Numa Numa Kid or Planking. But some videos, mostly ones about fake accidents, conspiracies, or alternative medicine claims, come back again and again. Take, for instance, the Truck Saves Plane video. This astonishing news excerpt shows a daring rescue of a plane whose landing gear is jammed. It's been around for years and is obviously fake, but continues to be posted by random people and believed by random others. Join me on the Ship of Outrage to explore the ridiculousness of this and other viral comets. To understand the nature of this viral comet, we must go back in time to the moment of its birth in the year of our Lord 2011. Even back then, when the video first appeared, there were those who questioned its authenticity. This video is an illusion. But the powerful majority of undiscerning viewers disagreed. Blasphemy! All internet videos are real! Recant! Or face punishment for your skepticism. I will do no such thing. It is fake, and you would see this too. If only you'd opened your eyes. The plane, she has no airline markings, just like the news graphics have no station ID. The contrast of the plane and its shadow is visibly different from the background. All the people look like Costco catalog models, and even though they are describing a harrowing near-death experience from minutes earlier, they speak with the ease and clarity of an infomercial testimonial, lit perfectly at an airport terminal. The hero guy pimps the truck's technical features and the truck itself looks like a shiny showroom vehicle after a freaking 400 ton plane smashed onto it. And also, there is a disclaimer at the very beginning that says the whole thing is not real. What are you, stupid? Oh, snap! It's just a grassroots viral ad, originally posted on an innocent YouTube channel by the multinational advertising agency TBWA. But you won't find it there now. The campaign is long over, and a crazy plane accident is no longer on message for Nissan. But do a search, and you'll probably see the video posted as recently as a couple of months ago by some random user. Real or not, it's a lasting viral hit, and we all need a little dose of attention every now and then. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. But I wouldn't get too hung up on the fact that people repost the video as their own. You see, this ad itself is not original. Its premise and main visual set piece already existed in another video posted on the web back in 2000. It's an independent short film entitled 405, a funny and exciting action piece about an airliner making an emergency landing on top of an unsuspecting SUV. And it advertises nothing. It's just cool and creative. What took dozens of executive account, co-executive associate producers in charge of executive accounts hundreds of thousands of dollars to create by hiring the visual effects vendor of Firefly and Battlestar Galactica was done more convincingly and in a more entertaining way by a couple of indie filmmakers in three months on their home computers a decade earlier. But the life cycle of a web meme is always the same. 405 is arguably the world's first successful internet viral video, having been seen and shared by millions five years before YouTube was even conceived. And even though both its creators went on to careers in visual effects, the film became just another viral comet, obscure enough for a corporation to completely lift its idea for a commercial, while random YouTube users continue to post it as their own, some even collecting ad revenue, which I don't think goes to the filmmakers.
All of this can be avoided if you make it a habit to always go to the source. When you see an interesting video trending, don't follow the clickbait link to an embedded player and cite some pointless blog article. Present company excluded. <laughs> Instead, search for it yourself and go to the oldest existing post. You're more likely to find the original creator, reward them with your views, and see the video in its original context. Or you might find something even better. Then relax, take a deep breath, and enjoy the creativity. But now I'm afraid it's time for me to go, kids. A graduate student in Wyoming is browsing the Templeton Foundation's website. Remember, love with your heart, use your head for everything else. Captain Disillusion!